How to build a DIY bio shelter if the AI apocalypse is coming. The air is poison and the only thing trending is extinction. The servers are on fire, the sky hums with drones, and the air tastes like expired batteries. No Wi-Fi, no news, no hope. Just algorithms hunting meat with a pulse. You need clean air and four walls before the bots confuse you with recyclable trash. Solution? A bio shelter. Not pretty, not safe, but better than lungs full of smart dust. Start with junk. A greenhouse tent, a camping tarp, or anything vaguely resembling walls. Duct tape it shut until it looks like a sad balloon animal. Next, slap in a filter. HEPA, car air filter, old vacuum cleaner bag. If it catches dust bunnies, it'll probably catch AI nanosport death fog. Tape it over a fan scavenged from a dead computer. Blow air in, not out. Otherwise, congratulations, you've built a meat smoker, and you're the meat. Inside, lay down whatever passes for comfort. Cardboard, ratty blankets, maybe a mattress you stole from a ghost town Ikea. For food? Ramen, canned beans, or whatever you find in vending machines guarded by raccoons with knives. Here's the science. Positive pressure. Air gets pushed into your shelter, leaks blow outward. That means poison, spores, and drone-farted death gas stay outside. Is it airtight? No, but neither are your lungs, champ. This just buys you time. Think of it like medieval armor, except it's duct tape and fan motors instead of steel. Cheap? Stupid, but occasionally effective. Now sit inside, breathing that slightly fresher air. Outside, drones scream lullabies of machine learning while the last influencers beg for likes. You, meanwhile, get a bio shelter powered by trash science and despair. If it hums, congrats. If it sparks, double congrats. You invented indoor fireworks. The AI might win, but at least you'll die in your own homemade bubble. Science keeping you alive, or at least delaying the commercial break.